So unbelievably, it's been over a year and a half since Huawei launched its original FreeBuds Pro among the best premium ANC True Wireless earbuds of their time. Those things absolutely shat over most of the big buck rivals like the Apple AirPods, which is why I was so super keen to get the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 lodged right in my lug holes. On paper, the FreeBuds Pro 2 do sound very similar to the originals, but with upgrades where it counts, namely the updated dual driver design and improved ANC. Now, I've had them stuffed inside of my skull for well over a week now, taking them on trips abroad, basically been using them as my full-time True Wireless earbuds. So here's my full Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So as always, let's start with the design of the things. And the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 certainly look very shiny and glitzy. They've got short stubby wee stems, what Huawei terms its piano key design. At least they're not full-on dangly affairs like some rivals. They do kind of give off a bit of a plasticky vibe. You do have a rather ugly seam that breaks up that shiny surfacing right there in the middle. But to be fair, that seam is completely out of sight once the FreeBuds are actually lodged in your lug holes and they're pretty inoffensive overall. They don't jut out a ridiculous distance or anything. Quite compact, as you can see there. This is the Silver Frost model, which is basically a silvery grey. You can also pick them up in silver blue, which is unsurprisingly a silvery blue, and ceramic white, which is just straight up white, no f***ing about. If you're not a fan of the shiny silver, then I would recommend going for the ceramic white instead, as it's got more of a matte finish. And one of my issues with the original FreeBuds was just how slippery they were, and certainly the FreeBuds Pro 2 look like they should be just as slippery, but they somehow seem to have a bit more grip to them. I haven't actually dropped them a single friggin' time, which is a miracle. And yes, that does include fumbling them in and out of the case after several shandies, so yeah, fair play. And I have found that the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 have been quite comfortable to wear these last few days. Uh, certainly helped on by the fact you've got the silicon ear tips as usual, and they are quite compact and quite light as well. The only issue I had was this right bud. I couldn't quite find a silicon tip that would fit just perfect. You do get a selection of three different sizes bundled in the box. So occasionally I'll have to sort of fiddle around with it, just make sure it's uh, in there properly so the ANC and everything else does its job as it should. But apart from that, all good. And these buds are IP54 rated as well, so they're not bothered by a bit of moisture, so no worries if you're rocking them down the gym, working up a bit of a sweat, or otherwise if you're just out and about in the UK, where it's just constantly friggin' raining. When you want to get connected to your smartphone, well, that's quick and simple. The pairing process basically just involves pushing this little button here on the side of the case with the buds still in there, of course, then they'll immediately get picked up by your smartphone. I found it took about 20 seconds, job done. Once you're paired up, you'll want to download the Huawei AI Life app. And while this is available on the Google Play Store, unfortunately, I found that this version was out of date. So I did have to download it direct from Huawei. It is a bit of a ball ache, but it's well worth doing as it gives you access to a good selection of tools that help you to customize your buds. You can check on the battery life of not only the buds, but also the case itself. So you know in advance when that needs to be charged up again. You've got the ANC controls. You've got the sound effects section, which is basically an equalizer and various presets. You've got a tip fit test, which sounds all kinds of dodgy. This is supposed to help you find the perfect size of silicon tip, although I reckoned my right bud was absolutely perfect, even when it was still clearly not quite right. And in here is also where you can customize the touch controls. I say customize, the customization options are very limited indeed. In fact, all you can really do with most of the controls is just turn them off if you don't like them. Fortunately, I did like them very much. I found the touch controls perfectly intuitive, very easy to pick up here on the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2, certainly compared with the original FreeBuds Pro. Maybe I was just a lot less drunk on average compared with 2020 when the original FreeBuds emerged. But yeah, definitely I took to them straight away. It's just a single pinch in order to pause or play your music a double pinch in order to skip forward a track, and a triple pinch in order to skip back a track. You can also give them a long squeeze in order to cycle through the different noise cancelling modes or otherwise alternatively call up the smartphone assistant. And bugger all issues with the swipe gestures as well. You can swipe up this front edge to turn the volume up or you can swipe down it in order to bump it back down again, nice and simple. And you've got the usual auto pause feature, which again works a charm. Just whip out either of the buds if somebody starts chatting at you. Your audio will immediately pause and then once you bung it back in there, it'll all kick off again. Now the FreeBuds Pro 2 sports what Huawei terms a dual driver setup. It's essentially an 11mm driver and a flat voice call planar unit packed inside of each of these dinky buds, outputting frequencies from a super low 14Hz all the way up to 48kHz. 
The result is pretty respectable base actually for a pair of true wireless earbuds, especially ones this sort of size. You've also got nice crisp clear audio across the entire range, full bodied sounds, you can hear all of the individual elements of a composition. And that's helped along by the LDAC action on this thing as well. So if your smartphone supports LDAC, then you can get some really nice sound and tracks from the likes of Deezer and just really enjoy again that full bodied audio. And as I mentioned before, Huawei's AI Life app includes a variety of sound presets, which you can play around with, see which one you prefer the best. Otherwise you do have a full on equalizer tool if you want to manually tweak the output. Personally, I just stuck with the default sound settings, which were apparently co-engineered with Devulay. Um, so they obviously know what they're up to. Certainly sounded the best to my age and ears, but of course everyone's different. So it's good to have the option to uh, play around with it and change up the output if you want to. As for noise cancellation, well, the ANC has been improved here on the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 compared with the originals. You've got dynamic ANC, so it can boost up and down dependent on your actual environment and how loud and annoying it is. You've got a triple mic set up on both of the buds, two facing outwards and one facing inwards. And in my testing, the FreeBuds certainly did a pretty bloody good job of boosting the ANC when I was on a high street, in a tunnel, some other noisy place, and then just lowering it back down again when I was in a more quiet environment to preserve the battery life. That said, like most earbuds with dynamic ANC, they can sort of flicker annoyingly between two different strengths of ANC when you're walking along a road with intermittent traffic, for instance. So I ended up just sticking them in the ultra mode via the AI Life app for the full friggin' time whenever I was out and about, basically, just to make sure I got the maximum ANC on the go. I didn't have any of that flickering. And I did find I got slight wind feedback from the FreeBuds Pro 2 when they were in ANC mode as well, if I was walking at pace or if it was just a bit blustery. Nothing too bad though, nothing too distracting. And the awareness mode is definitely very, very handy if you, again, you just want to be listening out for some kind of announcement or something like that while you are enjoying a podcast or an audiobook or whatever. And this is a recording that I made with the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2, just so you can get an idea of how good those microphones are if you are going to be on a voice call or using that voice assistant. This is in an absolutely silent studio right now, but I'm about to start some traffic sounds. There we go, noisy traffic in the background as if I was walking down a very busy high street right next to that road. Again, just so you can get an idea of how good the FreeBuds Pro are at cancelling out some of that background noise and keeping your voice the central focus. As for the battery life, well, it's quite a slow drop off when you first start using the buds. I find when you stick them in there, first half an hour or so of playback, they only tend to drop around five to six percent battery life. But then after that, unfortunately, it is a solid 10 percent every 20 minutes, giving you roughly four hours of playback on a full charge. And that's using a good bit of LDAC and that is also with ANC turned on to Ultra. I found that if I did knock ANC off entirely, I tended to get closer to five to five and a half hours of use per charge. And that's not bad at all, but it is a little below average uh, compared with a lot of other ANC True Wireless earbuds that I have tested recently. But plop these buds back in the charming little case that you get bundled with them and you'll find you'll get just over three full rechargers from this case before the case itself also needs to be refilled. You do have Type-C USB connectivity for charging, otherwise they also support wireless charging. So if you've got a phone that also charges wirelessly, it's got that reverse wireless charging feature, you can just bung it on the back of the phone and power them up on the go if you forget to charge them up and you find you're completely bloody drained. And when the buds are inserted into the case, they do charge up very quickly indeed. So generally just a few minutes is enough to give you around a half charge, so good enough for a commute easily. And while the case itself isn't as compact, again, as some rivals out there, it is smooth, it is pleasantly shaped, so it does slip nicely into any pockets or anything, no worries at all, and it looks pretty sleek. So that right there is what I think of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2 after using them as my full-time true wireless earbuds for over a week now. And I really like them. The sound quality is fantastic. Shame the battery life wasn't a little bit better. And of course, you can get some really good ANC earbuds for cheaper than the FreeBuds Pro 2. So please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the week. And that's about it. Cheers, everyone. Love you.